great start. Uh, I found some money. Looks like enough money to cover the cost of this upgrade. We are going to pull this out, this console piece here, and we're going to replace it with a new one right here. So we're going to pull this tunnel cover off. We got to get to a bolt uh, under here, and there's a bolt under this seat belt cover here and on the other side, and we can pull this thing out. I think we take the seats out too. Let's get to it. So the best way to do this, we've discovered, is to take your tool and pop this side out. And then you can just pull the little plastic cover off. And this is the way the clips look on the other side. Oh man, it's really in there. Socket wrench, big one. We're gonna use the socket wrench. like all attached. Huh? Oh, I like one big piece. That's some serious Velcro. Should have taken this off. We gotta take this off. Okay, so these are T20s. You gotta unscrew all these and take the console lid off. Okay, we actually want to take these out. These are just well put in. So we take those out. Okay, so these little seat belts, these have to come out. And then this should lift out. So we gotta pay attention to these clips when we put it back in. Those are the only clips on particular thing. The Velcro on this side pulled out a little bit. So we gotta move that back in. And then we should be able to take this thing off. Yeah? A little hard to get out, but just pop those clips out and then you just sort of force it out. So this spring was in here and we just took our tool. We shoved the tool in here, pop the spring out. The next step, we remove this pin, yeah? Right here. Pin comes out by hitting it on the side. Get out like that, no problem. Uh, with the spring and the pin out, it just pops right out. So this is the new one. There we go. And we're gonna get this part under here. So now getting the spring in here should be pretty easy. Ta-da! That's it. Okay. Now we have to reverse the, uh, the uninstall. Another project completed. Uh, it's a little bit dark out. I know it's hard to see. Apologize for that. Uh, it matches the interior really well. The installation wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, my son and I spent an hour and a half putting this in. So I don't necessarily feel good about myself, but I would do it again. So that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about how to get this console cover on. If you're doing it yourself, just let me know. I'm happy to help out. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thanks.